Sarah Dagg enjoyed an illustrious career at RIT's women's hockey team. How does it feel to be inducted into the Sports Hall of Fame here at RIT? It's an honor for sure. There's so many people that I'd like to thank. You never really get to thank your parents enough for everything they do as you're growing up. I mean, countless weekends, weeknights, every night, night you can imagine they're taking me to hockey practice or a hockey game. So it's just nice to officially say thank you in front of people and, and just show your appreciation. You were the all-time leading scorer for RIT women's hockey. You made an impact on them. What kind of an impact did it make on you though? A huge impact. RIT kind of shaped who I am today. I was not the same person back then as I am now. I've grown. I loved to be a part of a team and I worked hard even back when I I played hockey, I think it's my parents that instilled that in me, but uh, RIT, I really kind of flourished here. Is there any advice you could give to, to some of the younger players that are in the program now, looking ahead towards real life after college? In life, you, you experience challenges. Life doesn't go according to plan, and you know what? At, Playing a sport, it doesn't either. You have hardships. You might lose a game. You might lose a championship. Um, and you just got to move on. Like a lot of the, the guys said downstairs, you're, you can't just define one moment, a loss or something like that. You have to look past that and, and work harder to, to come back stronger. Uh, your senior year, you guys made it all the way to the national championship, come up a little bit short. Year after that, they win it. Year after that, they move on to D1. Does it sting a little bit to not have been able to have been a part of that? Yes, yes, absolutely. I mean, I wish I would have won when we had the chance to win, but um, looking at the whole picture and women's hockey, women's hockey has grown tremendously over the last 10 years. When I came to RIT, we were supposed to go D1 much sooner than what we did, and I wished I would have been able to play D1, but you need to have a strong base and you need to win and you need to have a, a good team to move on and play at that level, and I think a lot of the girls that I played with in all my years, uh, it kind of all led up to moving to Division One and winning a championship. I'm so happy for the girls now that get to come here and play at this beautiful rink, um, play Division One. All the girls leading up to that, even girls way before me, like Jen Grinsky that played many years ago that helped the program move to where it is now. I believe Cassie Clayton will get credit for that number 25. We'll see.